Jeremy Wiechek from Nisswa Marine here, and we are here located on this dock to compare and show the differences between Shore Station and the competitor's brand X dock. One of the disadvantages of having a 4x10 section dock like this with panels is if you get high wind or uh, heavy storms, it's very easy for these to become loose and uh, come obstructed from the dock itself. So in a high wind situation or heavy chop water, you might have these floating around in the water, which is not real good. This is a dock section that is completely locked in. Each and every section is locked in by two stainless steel pins. So we do not have the ability to take this apart unless we manually do uh, unconnect the pin. That's gonna be great for high water situations, uh, heavy winds, heavy white caps. We're not gonna have any buckling of our dock when you have shore station. Each four by 10 section is only friction fit uh, at, at their connection points. So as you can see, at any time, this can become dislodged um, in, again, a heavy storm situation, a rough water situation. It's not locked in by two stainless steel pins. We just have the friction fit here. Another disadvantage of being panel dock, it's just real noisy. So if you have kids, children, pets, or what have you running up and down the dock, it's a very loose panels. So you're making lots of noise. It's a little bit unsturdy because these panels are just loose sliding around inside of these frames. As we're walking on the shore station dock, we'll notice it's all one piece. There's no panels, nothing to rattle. It's noise free. Um, as we have the one piece aluminum structure on top here, underneath is a galvanized leg frame with two braces that go outward as it gets deeper, it actually gets more sturdy. So the sturdiness of the shore station dock, there's no wobbleness to it, uh, no matter how deep you're at. On this uh, particular circumstance, we're in eight feet of water, which you definitely need a very rigid, sturdy dock, and you're gonna get that with shore station dock because of that leg frame advantage. On the structural design of the Brand X dock, we really notice a key difference in the sturdiness. As you can see, we have pipes that go straight down so there's no uh, structural footprint at all. So the wobbleness and sturdiness is uh, quite excessive, even out here with uh, several sections together, which you would think it would be more sturdy, but it just simply isn't. As we walk out to this single, uh, smaller, narrower section, we're uh, demonstrating the sturdiness as well out here. So without the H frame on a shore station dock, this here, again, has straight pipes, making it very, very wobbly and, and unsturdy. Pointing out one more advantage to the shore station dock on the underside, we have two leg braces connected to each of the leg frames for even more stability. Now discussing some of the structural integrity of the Brand X dock, the aluminum frame, uh, we notice we do have a raw aluminum edge here. So the disadvantage of that is anytime you got jet skis, small boats, uh, kayaks, or what have you, you're, you're gonna run into this and this is not gonna be a real safe situation and it'll hurt your lakefront equipment. As well as, you'll notice on these corners, on these uh, ends, I should say, um, have a tendency to pop off. These are little caps that are popped on here. So if something bumps into that, you'll lose your uh, structural integrity of this side of the uh, vinyl decking. Shore Station does offer three different types of dock on their material. There's a maintenance-free aluminum with the Eon sides, a complete 100% cedar dock, and then the dock we have here is the most common, which is about 80% of what we sell. As you can see, we have our uh, non-maintenance aluminum with our low-maintenance cedar sideboard. A couple of nice things about having a natural cedar side uh, for our dock is number one, this is a built-in bumper. So we don't have any raw aluminum edges, especially for a jet ski, paddle boards, smaller uh, lakefront equipment that might bump into this. So we have a nice protection around the dock. A lot of people are choosing the cedar sideboard uh, version because it really gives it a natural up north look. 
Just a great looking addition to your property. As we get out to the end of the dock here, we do see uh, we have so-called bumpers. Uh, these are actually like decorative sleeves because it's not protecting the bolt real well. They're not very sturdy. Uh, a lot of times the caps will come off as you can see like this one right here. And uh, they're not real sturdy. So if you bump your bolt into here, they even have a tendency to crack and break very easily because let's face it, we do have heavy boats, heavy lake equipment that's bumping into these bumpers, so we, we would want to have something that's a little bit more rigid and sturdy. A really nice advantage of the Shore Station bumper is it's a very, very sturdy bumper. It's a 72 inch bumper that you can really run into very hard and it's going to always stay nice and stable. Also, there's an adjustability factor here where we can change and raise and lower the height of this bumper. So if we have a really small, low uh, draft boat, or a really, really deep hull, we can take this bumper and change the different uh, height dimensions of it. Really, really uh, nice feature. Another unique thing about one of the bumpers down here, as you notice, this is a corner section, whereas this is actually at the 45 degree angle, uh, giving you full protection on both sides, no matter what side you park your boat on. Really, really nice way to uh, attach it to the dock. Another unique thing I really like is the ability, if we need to change a location of a bumper, all we need to do is just grab onto this, where we can take this out and move it to a different location at any time with ease, no tools required, if we want to change the location of our bumper. In closing, we'd like to thank you for taking a look at the features of uh, this brand X dock that we showed you here today. This is not a bad dock, we just wanted to point out and describe all the benefits that we have with the Shore Station product. So thanks for uh, watching our video today and we'll see you on the water.